Today I'm interviewing Adam Palmer, who developed the Yorkshire Rapeseed Oil Company back in 2008. You grow your own produce on a farm in the heart of the Yorkshire Wolds, where you created a business cold pressing rapeseed oil, and now have five amazing flavours of oil, six dressings and five flavours of mayonnaise. What inspired you to create your company? We grew up on the farm, which is my grandfather's farm, and when I took it over it was quite a small um, farming unit and I always thought I needed to do something else and it was always an interest for me of trying to take a product that we already grew um, and market it to the end user. Rape seam was a natural choice for us, it started to become quite a big thing, it felt like the right fit at the time. How have you grown your business and developed new innovative flavours? What we very quickly realised was that we had an ingredient rather than necessarily just a, a single product and actually there was an awful lot of different things that um, could be made using our oil which led us down the path of coming up with, with new sort of recipes. Uh, Jenny did the first range of dressings that we had. Um, uh, we had a little bit of external help with our, with our first mayonnaises but since then actually we've gained a lot of experience and we do all of our recipe development in-house. Um, we have an awful lot of products now that we do for ourselves and we have designed for other companies as well, um, all using our own rapeseed oil. Um, but yeah, we just knew we had to get out there and um, create different products really. So your products are supplied into food services, farm shops and delis around the country. How did you initially spread brand awareness and get your name recognised in the food industry? We did a lot of consumer shows, um, so we did a lot of farmers markets, that sort of thing. Whilst we were getting recognised, uh, that then helped us grow into sort of the independent retails in and around Yorkshire. Um, we then started doing some slightly more national shows, which then helped us grow and um, sort of gain listings throughout the rest of the country really and it's a, it's something that we've kept up it's been um, a really great way for us to grow the brand and to um, yeah understand what the consumer is looking for um, it, it's great market research for us essentially in 2014 you launched the Charlie and Ivy's brand which started with six bread dipping oils and has now got eight available for retail. How do you plan to grow your business even more in the future? For us to get Charlie and Ivy's available more widely, it's currently available nationally. Um, we will look at um, export opportunities for that in the, in the near future. Um, we're also looking at uh, different products. We've just launched a range of three plant-based mayonnaises out with Charlie and Ivy's. Uh, we've launched a range of three marinades as well very recently, just before Christmas. So we'll continue to look at um, sort of new products, um, hopefully relatively innovative products, um, and yeah, just try and push them out as far and far and wide as we possibly can. What have been the biggest challenges you have faced? Understanding what it takes to get a product to market has probably been the biggest challenge that we've uh, that we've undertaken. Really, I've said it many times before, I think if we had any idea what I was undertaking when we started the business, I probably wouldn't have done it. And I think actually you learn as you go, yeah, you gain skills and actually if you look back over the last you know 13 years that we've done this our skill set has developed an awful lot over that time and but i think when you first start coming across the challenges of how you get a product to the market how you then um keep that product in the marketplace and and grow that it's quite a daunting task so i think it's a, a big challenge to begin with but yeah it's uh, it's one that we've um had to learn via our own mistakes i think with recent labour shortages, how have you managed to recruit staff to work for your rural business? It's really challenging. Um, we've managed to always find good people who are relatively local. We don't have a huge workforce, but um, there is 15 of us here now and it, and it does take some managing. Um, but yeah, we've, we've actually, we have been relatively lucky as to find, manage to find the people um, as we've needed them. Finally, what would you say to other young farmers who are interested in diversifying? Uh, create a good plan, look at what you want to do, make sure there's an appetite for that in the marketplace somewhere. And if you're convinced there is, you know, you've just really got to get stuck in and try. Thank you so much for chatting to me today and letting me interview you. Um, and I wish you all the luck in the future. Thank you very much.